If you weren't confused and overwhelmed enough by the pizza events, uh, there's even more for you. So, the Bloody Mary events are going on now. There's two events with two completely different time spans. So, Phantom Fright is basically an event for Bloody Mary's skin here. Which is pretty neat and pretty edgy. The one thing, the biggest thing to note about the skin, um, you cannot get it just with the stamina you get. You need to spend about 400 crystals total if you do everything else perfect to uh, get the skin. It's a pretty neat skin, um, I will say. Uh, Bloody Mary is not a particularly good food soul. Um, in addition to being outside of this event, probably not going to be able to get shards, so ascending will be difficult beyond whatever you can do in this event. And um, Bloody Mary's stats, um, they're pretty basic crowd control, but only with um, only with the status ailment on his uh, energy skill. Um, so he. he there's characters like Vodka and Foie Gras that most free-to-play characters are going to be able to get that are better than, than him. Um, he might beat Yuxiang solo, like if Yuxiang is not with Peking Duck, he would beat her. But Yuxiang, you're probably going to be able to get to 5 stars without too much trouble. So, personally, I'm going to collect Bloody Mary, and then I'm going to get everything else I'm going to acquire. Um, I'm just going to get the other stuff. So, the way it works, there's two events. Phantom Fright is the story event type, that is like the tempura event we just had a bit ago, and the sweet and sour fish and tortoise jelly event we had a bit ago. Um, there's only one style of reward, instead of, you know, choosing between tortoise and jelly. You got just Bloody Mary stuff. Um, one thing to note, you'll, you'll see there's only 30 shards you can get here. That's because you're not really meant to summon Bloody Mary from than the story event, you're meant to get him from Surprise Explosion, which is a heck of a name, and um, you can get a lot more shards from this. Hey, Jello. So this one you only have five days to do, so you want to be pretty... Oh, I hate how it goes back to the top every time. Um, you'll have to be pretty on this one, but rewards, you get rewards pretty fast. In this one, you get, um, you get items. It's kind of complicated. You get items from doing level clears. Every level clear you get um, Pearl Blossom pe Petals from just normal levels or uh, hard mode levels for collecting, you know, ingredients or shards from hard mode. Um, and for deliveries you get Silver Stones, which basically just reduce the amount of these, the petals that you need to use. Um, deliveries are not as critical in this one, like if you were doing the Sweet Tofu event and you had to do deliveries, Labakongi had to do deliveries. In this one, um, it's not really a big deal. It, you could even entirely forgo deliveries, and it would just mean that you, you use slightly more stamina for, for these things. So let's get a whole bunch here, like, can I get 30? Yeah. See, I, I don't like to do extra deliveries unless I get a really good reward. For Labakongi, it was worth it, but in this case, yeah. You just kind of make arrows, you get random drops. The um, the goblet seems to be the rarest one. I think, is it maybe one goblet for each set of nine? Is it the same rewards each time? Oh no, it's totally random. Okay, oh, and the goblet, huh. I guess I just had bad luck. All right, let's make one more. So yeah, there's no reason not to make, um, there's no real mistakes you can make with these, just make as many of the bottom arrow as you can. The same arrow, but it's just slightly cheaper pedal-wise to make the bottom one. I'll just make one last arrow to get set of nine. You gotta pop them. You gotta pop all nine to like continue, but the rewards are random. It doesn't really matter. It's just faster to pop all, so don't worry about that too much. And so you choose, your, you get your random rewards, and you go in here, and you can get Bloody Mary, um, Bloody Mary shards, which, you know, primary thing of this. You need at least 30 shards from this event to combine with the other events to summon Bloody Mary. So, if you're worried about not finishing the event on time, first thing you want to do is get 30 Bloody Mary shards from this, then you can make up the difference in the other events. Um, in terms of other rewards, we have some pizza event rewards, which is nice. Um, you can get a healthy amount, well you can get two pulls worth of, um, of uh, spirit embers, soul embers. Um, the guiding, the street light is like a lantern for, it summons the jester. Uh, I would say that's not particularly worth it. Um, fighting jesters is good, but they're slightly expensive and it's, um, you get more points unless you deal over 1 million damage to the jester and get over a thousand points. Um, it's actually better to fight the staff in terms of ranking rewards, but 
It's up to you. If, if it's gonna make the difference between getting pizza and not, it might be worth it. But the main reason I hesitate is four cheese tokens for five skulls. That's not too bad at all. Um, the best one, in my opinion, five intermediate seasonings, five skulls, seven things. It's a little bit expensive, but compared to the price of this, right? They're like almost the same price, just slightly more for this one, but it's five intermediates. And that's like 50 beginning seasonings. And I, I'm always running out. Everybody's always running out of seasoning, pretty much. And this. Random Purple Fallen Angel. Not the worst. Not the worst cost I've seen. But like I said, for the, for the, for the first part, you should really just get as many Bloody Mary shards as you can. So I'm just gonna grab 15, because that's all you can do. Bloody Mary's is super rare. Super rares always need 60 shards. So that's pretty much all you need to worry about with this one. Just spend every bit of stamina you can, send out every delivery you can without like extreme like difficulty. Um, what I like to do to speed up deliveries is I go in my restaurant, I have Skewer at 3 stars, and I have the Supervisor unlocked, so I put her here because Skewer has Swift Wind, which reduces the delivery time for everything for 25%, which is pretty legit. My laundry's done, so that's nice. Um, Thanks, laundry machine. Um, but what I like to do is go here, like here. This this is a great one. I I have a ton of stuff already. It's only one thing. It's uh, it's under an hour. That's pretty good. This one, not too bad. I'll do that one. I'll do that one. My main thing is if it's two full hours or if there is three, if it requires three dishes, I usually reject it unless I already have the three dishes. I usually don't. There are certain ones of these that will ask specifically for just one, and you can kind of stock up on that one item. And what you can do, I'm actually looking for an order to reject so I can show you. Yeah, what you can do, this this order here, this sucks. So what we're gonna do is cancel it. It's two hours, it requires three dishes, I don't have any of the dishes, we're gonna cancel that. So every 10 minutes, I'll get new private orders. Um, you do lose a tiny amount of fame when you reject orders, but it's it doesn't matter. So like, I lost like, maybe at most five fame from that, right? Let's look at how much fame I need. I need 300,000 fame for the next level. It's, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, what's this one? Yeah, not gonna do that one. Again, almost two hours, three dishes. Um, they go as low as one dish, they go as low as about 40 minutes. I think he's low as 30 minutes. This one's kind of a... I'm not as into the Bloody Mary event. So I might... I'm gonna reject that one. If that was the Labakongi event, I would have considered that worth it. The Labakongi... Labakongi is an extremely good food soul. No. I'm gonna do that one. So I just kind of go through all of them, and I clear all the ones that are just not worth doing. Love Palladis music, by the way. So, that is the first Bloody Mary event. The second one, which you have a lot more time to do, like I said, the surprise explosion one, um, you only got you only got seven days, and one of them is gone. So, yeah, um, Phantom Fright actually lasts slightly longer than the pizza event, which is only twelve more days. P the Phantom Fright is for fourteen more days. So Phantom Fright, which I kind of neglected, I was a naughty boy. Um, Phantom Fright is a story event, and story events have branching paths. So it's... Wait, why is that not loading? Hmm. I put something on my guide that would tell you what the thing was, but well, I'll, I'll, I'll have this in my written guide this is very soon after, or probably before I publish the video, because I gotta edit it and encode it and upload and all that stuff. So it'll probably be in my written guide already, but you're watching this video, so I assume you don't need that too much. But I already screwed this up because I missed one day's worth of stamina. I didn't answer this. So if you've never done a story vote mode event thing, the way it works is that you spend stamina, you get special separate stamina, um, action power for the side story, and every time you clear one of these stages, you consume a certain amount of event stamina and you get an item. So let's just clear this one here. And these are pathetically easy. These are like, even level 20 or below I think can clear these. I think they recommend like level 30 and that's like greatly exaggerated. They just... They're, they're, they're barely even here. As you can see. But yeah, each level that you clear gives you either a heart seal, a reason seal. And these seals, 
they actually stay. The, the seals stay between events. The other items also stay between events, but they don't have a use. So like, the wine glass and the necklace, these two are special for just this event. So there's no need to, or reason to stockpile them. These ones, if you want to, if you say don't want any of the items from this event, you can just stockpile, use all your stamina to collect these and carry them over. That's what I did with the Tempura event. I was gonna beat it, but then the pizza event was coming up and I didn't want to spend my crystals, hi Parker. And I couldn't get the skin without crystals. Which again, is still the case here. You need about 400 gems, which is not insanely high for the skin. So if you want the skin, it's really not a crazy price. Um, you'll get enough gems. Um, even if you're free to play and even if you're terrible at fighting the disaster boss, you get 50 gems per day from completing the daily rewards. So you'll get more than fi uh, you'll get more than enough gems just from daily rewards to spend on that. So even if you're free to play, you can totally get that skin. Don't even worry about it. Uh, it's just a matter of do you want to use that or do you want to use those gems somewhere else? So as you go through the story, you'll eventually come to these dialogue choices, which do matter. Um, which is, I unfortunately, you have to choose the right choice, all for the same person. So, if you want to go the Bloody Mary route, um, you have to pick all of the Bloody Mary responses. If you want to go the wine, red wine route, you want to go to the other ones. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you pick, they have functionally identical rewards, because you need exa the exact same amount of both of these wine glass and other thing, and they don't seem very worth it. I think the... The general thing with this, um, the general thing with these story things is that it's worth it to open one chest, it's not worth it to open the second chest, because to do the second chest, you have to spend crystals to reset the event, and that is usually not worth it. I haven't done the exact math, but I would be almost willing to bet that is the case again here, because this is moderately expensive. This is more expensive than the Tempura event. I think even in the Tempura event, which was cheaper, it was still pricier to reset and to not. But the way the uh, plot events work is that, let's see here, there's six plot events here, and there's three answers to each plot event. So to do the Bloody Mary route, you want to answer three for the first one. And by three, I mean there's like the first one at the top, the second one in the middle, three at the bottom. So for the first one, you want to do three, then it's one, then it's three, then on the second page, it is two, then three, then two. Meow. And then if you want to do the red wine route, you want to do one, then three, then one, then three, then two, then three. And again, that'll be written out in the guide. So if you want a quick reference to that instead, it'll be in the description. And there's a lot more info in the guide, in the written guide. Um, I don't have, I have... There's a lot of stuff in the written guide that's not really in my videos directly or, like, easy to find. I, I tend to recommend the written guide over the other stuff. So, like I said, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. Um, I'm personally was... I was going for the, the Bloody Mary one, but I messed it up and actually got this one. I, I kind of just go in for Bloody Mary just because, like, he's the new... He's the new dude, so, like, you know, see his story. By the way, they really love the whole gender swap situation. There's so many souls like that. Um, Bloody Mary is the most blatant one. I find it so funny that they censored a lot of the original graphics. Like, they censored Tom Yum's, like, chest. He's just, like, a boxer dude, and they, like, covered up his chest with, like, sports tape. Like, he's Sonic the Hedgehog. And, but this guy has surprise explosion. But yeah, so that's the Bloody Mary events. Um, it's a little bit simpler than pizza, but, like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is a Halloween-themed one, so I can see why they do it now, but we got so much stuff going on. Come on, guys. Uh, but it doesn't really directly, like, it uses normal stamina and its own event stamina rather than the Halloween stamina, so it's not like you're giving up progress in one to, to proceed to the other. So, oh, I need to find a clown pretty soon. So yeah, it's, it's still possible to do both and everything, but I'm just gonna get... I'm gonna summon Zero Star Bloody Mary, and I think that'll be it. I mean, maybe I'll do one star just in case there's like a buff ever, which I don't. I'm not aware of this game doing buffs, unfortunately. Usually in Gashapon games, under. Meh, under uh, quality characters are buffed, but. I don't know. Anyway, that's the Bloody Mary event. I uh, hope you have fun.